Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Ebony, I am a human design expert. And today we are continuing our authority series. I think we're almost done. I think we're almost done. We are talking about the G Center Authority today. And this is probably one of my favorite authorities. I'm not gonna lie. I kind of wish I had a G Center. Well, I wish I had a defined G Center. I have an undefined G Center. Ah, surprise. Um, so yes, today we're gonna be talking about the G Center Authority, which I personally think is so cool. And before we jump into that, you know what I'm gonna say? My free human design guidebook for embodying your human design and your day-to-day -day life, that's in the description. Um, if you wanna book a reading with me, you can do so on my Instagram, just message me. I have all my pricing there. I have email readings and Zoom meetings. Zoom readings, oh my God, I always do that. Um, so if you're interested in that, Instagram is the place to go. And don't forget to enter my giveaway for reaching 100 subscribers. It's a free full reading. So if you are, if you do want to get a reading, but you don't want to pay for it and you want to try and win it, check my giveaway video and go ahead and jump on that. Uh, okay, so let's jump in to the G-Center Authority, which, like I said, is my most, probably my most favorite authority. Yeah. So your G-Center is your primary authority if... Your solar plexus is not defined, your sacral center is not defined, your spleen center is not defined, and your heart center is not defined. If your G center is the one that's defined and the other ones aren't, that means your G center is your primary authority. And when you have, first of all, we'll talk about this when I start to talk about energy centers, but if you have your G center defined, it means you have a very strong sense of self. It has a, you have a very strong sense of who you are and the direction that you're going in in life. So that's already pretty cool to me as someone who doesn't have a defined G-Center. I think that's really awesome. But the thing about people who have the G-Center as their primary authority is they have this innate knowledge about what is good and right for them and what they want to do. Because it's attached to your sense of self. Because you have a strong sense of who you are, you know, you have this innate knowledge about what you do and don't want to do. What is right and what is wrong for you. But the thing is, <laughs> the thing about having a G-Center authority, and I have a nephew, I have, yeah, I have a nephew who has this as his authority. And when I told his mom that this is what it meant, she was like, oh my God, yes, that's exactly him. So if you have a G-Center authority, you're able to make really aligned and spot on decisions. But the problem comes in when you try to make those decisions or you try to work through things in your head. If you have a G-Center authority, because you have such a depth and an innate wisdom about yourself, it's very, very difficult for you to make aligned decisions if you are trying to work things out in your head. When you allow yourself the freedom to speak things out loud, either to yourself or to another person, like just using them as a sounding board you are able to come to decisions a lot quicker because you're able to find clarity. You find clarity through your voice, through speaking out loud, either to yourself or to other people. And you'll notice, like, if you have a big decision to make, right? You'll be like, I just need to talk to someone about this. Like, I don't wanna hear your opinion. <laughs> I don't wanna hear what you have to say. I just want you to sit here and listen to me while I work through this. Like, while I process all of this, I just want you to sit here and just, just, just be here as I process this, as I process this decision that I need to make. And you'll find that when you do that, when you offer yourself the space and the permission to speak your thoughts out loud, you come to decisions a lot quicker than you would if you were trying to work it all out in your head. It's like a math problem, you know? I mean, there's... <laughs> There are some people who can do math in their heads. I'm not one of those people. And for people who have a G-Center authority, you're not meant to... It, there's so much information up here, you get very overwhelmed. And when you get overwhelmed, you can shut down. You're like, you know what? Screw it. I'm not going to do anything. I'm just... I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to sit here because I don't know what to do. No. You do know what to do. You just need to talk it out. You need to get it out of your head, out of your head, and into the 
the the the matrix or whatever we're calling this world out here you just need to get out of your head that's that's it that's it and I promise you the more that you allow yourself to just talk things out even if you're just talking to yourself you could be in your car having a whole ass conversation with yourself about a decision that you need to make and even though you might look crazy to other people who are looking at you like why is this person talking to themselves alone in their car it's fucking weird but you are getting what you need to get from that conversation so that's basically it and through talking things out you will come to the most aligned decision for you which goes back to what I was saying in the heart authority video it's all about what's best for you and you will get that clarity you will come to that realization when you allow yourself to speak out loud okay that's it um (laughs) That is the G-Center Authority. I feel like with these videos, they get so long because I just go on these random tangents and I'm trying, I'm trying to stop doing that. But we'll see. Anyway, um, again, if you are interested in downloading my... Mr. Crow! Thank you. If you're interested in downloading my free human design guidebook, that is in the description. If you want to get a reading with me, the info is on Instagram. You can message me there. If you want to get a free reading, you can enter my giveaway. The video is up here somewhere. And I will see you all in the next video.